Welcome back to caddies.com's AutoCAD 2011 series tutorials. But now that we've talked about how to create a few objects in our drawing, let's take a look at how to make changes to those objects. Let's start off with one of the most basic editing commands, the move command. Now I'm going to draw some objects here on my screen. A couple of lines and a couple of circles. Now the move command you can get over here on your ribbon toolbar, um, you'll see that move icon right there. You can click on that, or what I like to do is just hit M on my keyboard, the uh, command alias for move, and then hit my space bar, and that starts the move command. You notice on your command line, the first thing that it asks you to do is to select the object or objects that you want to move. So it's going to bring up a little pick icon on your drawing window and uh, you can go around and you can just use your mouse button there and select the objects or pick the objects that you want to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this line. I'm just going to pick one object for now. Notice it, it highlights that object that I have selected and then on my command line it continues to say select objects because AutoCAD just like in the erase command that we learned a few tutorials ago uh, the move command works the same way. In fact most of the time when you're selecting objects in AutoCAD it works the same way it will assume that you want to continue to select objects until you tell it not to. So I've selected my first object. It's highlighted that. If that's the only object that I want to select, I'm going to hit my enter key on my keyboard or my space bar on my keyboard or my right mouse button and it's going to end the select portion of the move command. And now looking at my command line, uh, now it's saying specify a base point or displacement. Now the way that works it takes a little bit of getting used to, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to select the point at which you want to move from, a base point, and you're going to imagine that point that you picked, imagine moving that point that you picked to another point on your drawing. So for example, um, I'm just going to show you here, let's say I pick somewhere down here close to the end of this line. Okay, I've picked with my mouse button. Now as I move around, Notice the, the, the reference between the end point of that line and my crosshairs uh, is the same. Um, it's just down below the end point of that line. So the base point remains the same uh, in relationship to that object that you selected. So I'm going to drag over here uh, just over a little bit and then I'm just going to pick again and that ends the command. Uh, let's do that one more time. I'm going to select my object. I'm going to hit enter, tell it that I'm finished selecting objects. Now it's going to say specify base point. Now this time instead of selecting here or down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, oh, let me get out of that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick over here to the left a little bit. Now that's became now that became my base point. Notice as my move as I move my cursor around, uh, the relationship between the base point and the line remains the same. Okay? Now why that's important is because let me go ahead and pick right here, finish that move command. Why that's important is because most of the time when you move an object, you're not going to move it just arbitrarily out in space uh, from one point to another. Most of the time when you have an object that you want to move, let me draw a couple of lines here, you're going to want to move, let's say, this line uh, from the end point of this line exactly to the end point of that line. So your base point would be the end point. And remember in the last tutorial we talked about object snaps. Well, what you can do is use your object snap to tell AutoCAD that I want to move this line from exactly the end point of this line to the end point of this line. Now it's really important that you understand uh, this base point and how it relates to moving your objects because it works the exact same way when you're moving objects or copying objects or rotating objects. Um, it all works the same way relative to a base point that you pick. So make sure that you do understand what I'm talking about here and go through this tutorial again if you need to. So anyway, let me start my move command again. This time I want to move this object, this horizontal line right here, right? So I'm going to pick that line and then I'm going to hit enter to tell AutoCAD that I'm finished selecting objects. My command line says specify a base point or displacement. So for my base point, I want the exact end point of that line, right? So what I'm going to do, I should have turned O-snaps off so that I don't confuse you. What I'm going to do is hit my, hold down my shift key and hit my right mouse button and go down, go over here to my menu and click on endpoint. 
Now I'm going to go to the end point of this line, just like we learned in the last tutorial, and I've picked, now that I see my icon, I'm going to pick, and now my base point is exactly the end point of the object that I'm moving. Okay. Now if I want to move it to the end point of this line, um, I want to hit my, hold down my shift key, or I can turn on my running object snap like we talked about, but I'm going to hold down my shift key just so you get a visual here. Hold down my shift key, hit my right mouse button, go to my menu and pick on end point, object snap, and then I'm going to move my crosshairs close to the end point of this line until I get my end point object snap indicator there, a little icon, and then I'm just going to pick again, and now I've moved this horizontal line from the end point of that line on this end to the end point of this vertical line. And because I've used my object snap, when I picked my original base point, or the first point of displacement, um, and then I also use my object snap when I pick my second point, I use the end point object snap. Because I use those two object snaps, I know that those two lines meet exactly at those end points. So the same thing holds true for circles. Um, in fact, let me turn off my running object snap real quick. So the same thing holds true for circles. What I'm going to do is start my move command, select my circle, right? Um, when I'm finished selecting my circle, of, again, remember now, a lot of people get to this point, especially new users, and they'll say, like, okay, well, wait a minute, I've selected it, now what do I do? Well, remember, look at your command line. This is a command where AutoCAD's going to continue to ask you to select objects until you tell it otherwise, or you have to tell it you're finished selecting objects, because by default, it's going to allow you to continue to select, again, until you tell it to stop. So I've selected my object, I've selected my circle, I'm going to end the selection process by hitting my right mouse button or my space bar or enter on my keyboard. And now for my base point, I'm going to use, well obviously a circle doesn't have an end point, right? So I'm going to use the center object snap. I'm going to hold down my shift key, right mouse button, and go over here to center. Uh, go over here to my circle until, my, until I see my center object snap indicator or icon. And then I'm going to pick. So now my base point became the center point of the object that I'm moving. Okay. Let's say I want to move it to the end point right here of this line. So now I'm going to use my end point object snap. Move over here to the end point of this line. And there you go. Well, now where the base point becomes real handy is when you're moving objects relative to one another. So let me erase this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to draw a circle here and I'm going to draw a circle uh, just below it. Okay. Um, let's say I want to move, uh, let me draw one more circle. So I've got these three circles. Let's say I want to draw, let me, let's say I want to move, let me kind of start that over. Ignore this command, this copy command. We're going to go into that in just a minute. So let's say I want to move this object uh, directly under this object, um, the same distance away, you know, uh, relative to, 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 to this object, okay, or relative to these two objects. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me start my move command. I'm going to select this object. Now instead of my base point being on this circle or within this circle, my base point is actually going to be a point on this circle, like the center point of that circle. So I've started my move command. I've selected my object. Now I'm going to say center of this circle. Now it's asking for my base or my second point of reference. In other words, where do I want to move it to? Well, I want to move it to the center point of this circle. Okay? So I'm going to do my O snap again and then pick the center point of that circle. Okay? So instead of the uh, base point being actually on the object or uh, relative or, you know, in a relationship to that object, it's actually relative to another object from the center point of this circle to the center point of that circle. But that way these objects are exactly the same um, as far as distance apart and such. And you'll use that a lot. Um, the other thing that you'll, you'll find is when you're, you're moving objects, once you get used to this you'll do it so fast you don't even think about it. But you start your move command, um, you select your object, you're done. And if you just want to move this circle over here, well instead of having to go over here and pick, you know, okay, the center of here and, and go, you know, over to here, um, you're going to learn that you can just start your move command real quickly, just pick a point, doesn't matter where it is, and just pick your second point. So you'll just get used to just picking base points. They don't matter 
a lot of times when you're just moving objects around the screen, uh, it doesn't matter where your base points are. Okay, But again, there's other times, as you know, that base points do matter. Uh, you do want to pick the center of that object and move it to you know, the quadrant or something of that object right there. So sometimes they do matter. Now the copy command works basically the same way. Uh, with a copy command, all you're doing is you're taking those, you're, you're moving an object, but you're leaving the original one in place. Now that's really all it is. Let me show you how that works. So to start the copy command, um, you can either go over here to your ribbon, or you can actually just type in the C uh, on your keyboard and hit your space bar. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, it's the CO and hit your space bar. Type in CO on your keyboard and hit your space bar. Or you can, um, again, use the, the button on your ribbon. So the copy command, again, is going to work the same way as the move command. Uh, it's going to ask you to select your objects. So let's say I want to copy this object. Okay, I'm just going to pick it, finish selecting my objects, hit my right mouse button. It's going to ask me for my base point. Uh, I'm just going to pick some place arbitrarily out here in space. Okay, and then notice, just like the move command, uh, that base point is relative um, relative to the point from where you picked your object. Uh, so I'm just going to move my cursor around there, and then I'm going to pick my second point. Okay, and by default, what's cool is by default, AutoCAD is going to continue letting you copy that object around. So I've picked my first one. And now, just like on the select command, where it's going to continue to allow you to select objects until you tell it you're finished, well, the copy command is going to allow you to or have you continue to copy the object around until you tell it that you're finished. So I'm going to pick here, and then I can pick over here, and I can pick over here, and over here. And of course, when I'm finished, I can just hit enter or spacebar on my keyboard, and notice on my command line that ends that command. So that's the copy command. Um, as I said, it's very, very similar to the move command. Once you have the move command down, uh, the copy command uh, will work very, very easily for you. Let me just show you again. Um, this time, let's do this. Draw a circle, another circle. And let's say I want to copy uh, this circle and put it in the center of that circle. Start my copy command. Select my object, tell it I'm finished. Hit my right mouse button. Uh, for my base point, I want it to be the center of this circle. So hold down my shift key and bring my O snaps center of that circle. Bring out my O snaps again to the center of that circle. Okay, and again, it's going to continue this copy command until I fit, until I tell it that I'm finished. Okay, and I'm going to tell it I'm finished. I'm going to hit my enter on my keyboard, and that ends the copy command. So that's the copy command. Like I said, it works very, very similar to the uh, move command, uh, with the exception of it's going to uh, copy the object instead of just moving the object. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll go over some additional editing commands. And I appreciate you watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.